From the Bruins, we have Tuka Rask. Media, please raise your hand if you have a question. We'll start with Tara Sullivan from the Boston Globe. Uh, okay, I still had my hand raised, but um, Tuka, were you tired? Just give us a little sense of how you felt, um, obviously, with the back-to-back -back and just how you feel now. Yeah, not too bad. You know, it was an early game yesterday, 11 o'clock, so there's a lot of time to recover. Uh, obviously, I'm not really used to playing back-to-backs and playoffs. You know, they don't really happen too often. So, you know, I didn't feel tired. I uh, felt good. Uh, too bad we lost. Kevin DuPont, Boston Globe. Tuki, you saw your share of uh, Dougie in practices taking shots. As, as that play is developing, what are you thinking as you, as you spot him there on that plunger play? Yeah, well, that, we, there's a bit of a possession for them in our zone. They had a one high tip there, and then, you know, we just couldn't clear the zone. And uh, I was, that's one of those plays that you're kind of thinking that he's going to wrap it. And then last second, you see the D come and plunging down. So at that point, you're just trying to gain as much ground as you can to cut that angle off. And I, you know, I didn't. And, and you know, it just beat me short side. But I, I mean, it was a pretty good shot, I guess. Media, please raise your hand if you have a question. Kevin, you can have a follow up if you have one. Tuka, you were, say, you were saying a, a couple of days ago about uh, get, getting your hip flexors in shape and you, you go back to back nights here. Just general, generally from a physical standpoint, mental standpoint, how are you feeling here after back to backs? Well, I mean, considering I had four months off, uh, so I mean, not, not in prime shape, but, uh, but you know, trying to, trying to get there, just trying to, I, I'm just trying to have fun and, and you know, play the game. I'm, I'm not stretching too much about uh, results and whatnot. You know, it's August and I haven't played hockey forever. So just go out there, have fun and, and see what happens for me. We have Brandon Carlo from the Blue Bruins at the uh, podium here as well. We'll go to Matt Porter from the Boston Globe. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, Tuca, obviously, playoff hockey is playoff hockey. I'm wondering if the Carolina is doing anything to cross the line when they, you know, when they enter your crease. Well, to be honest with you, it doesn't really feel like playoff hockey out there. There's no fans, so it's kind of like playing an exhibition game. Obviously, you know, there's some scrums after whistles, and I haven't noticed anything that they would be targeting me or whatnot. You know, it's just things happen. People fall on you and whatnot. But, you know, it's, it's definitely not a playoff atmosphere out there. Mike Loftus, Patriot Ledger. Uh, Tuka and, and Brandon, actually, you could ch you chime in on this, too. There seems to be a little bit of an issue with, like, uh, with, with handoffs, getting pucks to the D, um, you know, here and there. Um, you know, am I seeing the wrong thing? And if so, what would you attribute that to? I think it's been awesome for the most part. I don't I don't. You mean like goalie, goalie D handles? Yes, yes. Or or, or put putting pucks up, putting pucks up the wall, maybe to, you know, to try to to try to you know relieve some pressure or maybe start a breakout. Yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, it's been working pretty well. There's a couple of times when I've bypassed the the pressure, you know, it's just gone directly to their guy for some reason. You know, like that was that first goal or whatever, second goal today. But you know we're working on it. But I, like I said, I think for the most part it's been it's been pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. I think uh, he's doing a good job moving the puck up fast. Um, there's been a lot of plays where he's moving it up the ice, even up to the red line. So that makes our job easy because we don't even have to look back. But um, those plays that we miss, I think it's just guys working to position, and uh, overall from there we'll get those pucks out, and we've done a pretty good job at it. We can go back to Tara Sullivan. Tara, if you have a follow up. Tuka, I did want to follow up on. Um... It just, you know, you saying it doesn't feel like a playoff atmosphere. How do you counter that? How do you get yourself ramped up? I mean, that's almost, I understand it, but it's a little bit, I imagine that's not an easy thing to feel when you know it is the playoffs, but maybe it doesn't feel the same. Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, you're, you're trying to play as hard as you can. And obviously, you know, you know, you're playing a best of seven series, so there's going to be some battles going on and whatnot. But, you know, when you play in your home rink, you play in a way rink, and there's fans cheering for you or against you, and that creates another – you know, buzz around the series. So there's none of that. So it just feels like a doll at times. You know, there's moments that, you know, okay, there's little scrums and whatnot, but then there might be five minutes and it's just coast to coast hockey and there's no atmosphere. So it, it just feels like an exhibition game. So, uh, but you know, we're, we're trying our best to kind of ramp up and, and get, get energized and uh, make it feel like a playoff game. We have time for two more for Brandon and Tuca. We'll go to Fluta Shinzawa from The Athletic. Uh, Brandon, uh, Carolina was able to extend some plays and, and pile up some some possession time in your zone. What do you think you guys could have done better to to maybe kill some of those plays off? 
Um, they were doing a well, a uh, good job of, of on the four check, getting above us, um, being on top of our guys right away. Um, I think just kind of pushing back, maybe throw a little more uh, high flips into the neutral zone, um, get them going back on pucks, and overall just trying to to get the puck out of our zone as fast as we can, and, and going and um, being assertive on the four check instead of letting them uh, control that part of the game. Last one, Kevin Dupont. Go ahead, Kevin, if you have one. Brandon, you're the D there when Svechnikov gets out that shot, which I, I was really impressed with his release there. Um, it, it great, at a great seam pass as well. Do, do you learn anything there in terms of coverage specifically on him? I think we obviously have to be aware as defensemen to play away from the net at times. That's one of those instances. Um, you know, puck kind of comes from the wall and just blame um, the winger. It, <laughs> Um, overall, I, I think, uh, yeah, just head on a swivel, um, try and recognize the guys coming. You know, he, I think he worked his way quite, quite high up in the zone there. So um, it's hard to, you know, approach that and, you know, jump out on him with pressure in front of the net as well. So um, definitely something we'll look at and good release by him, good play by them. So um, we'll learn from it. Guys, thank you for your time. Thanks, guys. Thanks.